In this video, I am telling you the biggest thing in anti-aging skincare right now besides retinoids. We all know that retinol or tretinoin or just retinoids in general is the golden child of anti-aging skincare. But what else can you do besides retinoids to really level up your results from your anti-aging skincare routine? I am telling you in this video, I'm Dr. Marin Locke, the budget dermatologist. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you are interested in skincare education and skincare routines and how to fix your skin without breaking the bank. Make sure you're subscribed and come say hi on Instagram at the budget dermatologist. And before you go and try to replace your retinoids with peptides, I need you to know that peptides can be used with retinoids. And I will show you how in this video to use both in a single skincare routine to get maximum results. Spoiler alert, it's okay if you can't or don't want to use a retinoid, you can still use peptides alone. And I will show you what peptide serum that I am using and why I am using it. It's linked in the description of this video. This is not sponsored. It's just my opinion from my own experience and my knowledge as a skincare expert. Here is what you're going to learn from this video, starting with why you should use peptides. At the end of this video chapter, you are going to know if peptides are right for you. Then I am going to tell you what to look for when you are shopping for a peptide product. This is so important because not all peptides target the same thing. Next, I am going to show you the peptide product that I am using, and I'm going to explain to you why I am using this specific product, as well as point out four other options at different price points. I will show you an easy peptide skincare routine that you can follow to start getting results pretty quickly. And finally, I'm going to show you a peptide moisturizer that I tried recently. You can decide if you want to use it in addition to the serum I'm going to show you, and you're going to see why these are obviously made to pair really well together, and that will be linked in the description too. So let's go. The number one reason why you should use peptides is Peptides have many of the exact same benefits as retinoids, but with way, way less irritation and less risk of side effects. Peptides build collagen. They act as antioxidants to prevent collagen breakdown. They can improve skin texture, strengthen your skin barrier, improve hydration because they can act as a humectant, and they can decrease inflammation. They can speed up wound healing, just to name some of the benefits of retinoids. And if you need even more convincing, peptides actually pair nicely with other skincare ingredients in general. They are more stable than retinoids. They can be used more often than retinoids because they are less irritating. So using them more often and more consistently might give you faster results. So did I replace my retinoid with peptides? No, I am going to show you what I do in my own skincare routine shortly. So you should use peptides if you want anti-aging benefits and you've already maxed out with your retinoid, then maybe add this in with your retinoid. Or you should use peptides if you cannot tolerate retinoids or you're not allowed to use retinoids for various reasons, then try a peptide product instead. Now here's what you need to know in order to find a quality peptide product to add into your skincare routine. Peptides are more complex than retinoids because there are many types that do slightly different things and the efficacy of your peptide product really can depend on exactly what categories of peptides are in it, are there enough of those peptides in it, and then what is the rest of the formulation around those peptides. There are four main categories of peptides that you can find in skincare products. These are signal peptides, these signal fibroblasts in your body to increase the production of collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, and other things that make your skin look youthful. You have neurotransmitter inhibiting peptides or Botox alternatives. These inhibit the muscle activity and therefore limit your wrinkle formation. You have carrier peptides. These deliver trace elements like copper that function as cofactors that are necessary for collagen and elastin production. Then you have enzyme inhibiting peptides and these suppress enzymes that break down collagen and elastin so they help preserve your collagen and keep you looking younger for longer. Now with these categories in mind, here is my recommendation when you are looking for a great anti-aging product. Check the ingredients label. First, look for a signaling peptide called Matrixil 3000. This is my favorite peptide complex to build new collagen, and it's one of the most studied in scientific literature with proven results. Matrixil 3000 is a complex of two types of peptides. You can often see these written on the label as 
palmitoyl tripeptide 1 and palmitoyl tripeptide 7. As a signaling peptide, these will build new collagen. Next, you will look for those Botox alternative peptides that I mentioned, also called Botox in a bottle. Again, these are going to target your wrinkle formation. You can see these written on the label as argireline or acetylhexapeptide 8 or acetylhexapeptide 3. These are going to soften your expression lines because this particular peptide blocks the neurotransmitter that causes these muscles to contract. You can look for copper peptides, specifically copper tripeptide 1 or GHK copper. Other types of copper can be more nefarious in the skin preparation, so you really want to look for this particular copper. This peptide can be good for wound healing and collagen synthesis. As you age, your level of this peptide in your body goes down. So if you apply it topically, it has been shown to get adequate absorption into the skin, and then it serves as a cofactor in new collagen synthesis. And lastly, consider enzyme inhibiting peptides like rice peptides, because these are thought to reduce the destruction of your own collagen that really starts to ramp up as we age. It does this because it blocks the enzymes that cause collagen breakdown. Meanwhile, it can actually stimulate the enzyme hyaluronin synthase, which can help produce more hyaluronic acid in your skin, and it can fade pigmentation by blocking the enzyme tyrosinase. So when you are shopping for your peptide, consider those four categories and look for those examples of peptides within those categories. Now let me show you the peptide serum that I use that has peptides from all four of those categories. It is Peptide Squad by Maylove. I have been using this for four to five months, I think, and it is by far one of my favorite peptide serums I have ever used. So here's the deal with this serum. It contains four classes of peptides. It has Matrixil 3000 to stimulate collagen production. It has Argireline and Acetylhexapeptide 8 that are going to reduce those dynamic wrinkles from facial expressions. It has copper peptides that are needed to synthesize new collagen and rice peptides. They're going to slow down your collagen destruction from aging and free radical damage. So these four peptides all together make for a very complete serum that is going to target muscle movement and it will build collagen and reduce inflammation. So that is why I use this one. I'm going to link it in the description. This is also formulated to support your skin barrier. So it has lots of other hero supporting ingredients in it like niacinamide, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, natural moisturizing factors, ceramides, jojoba oil. So all of those together really just make this so nice and hydrating. Let me point out that uh, this actually took me by surprise, but it is blue. There are no additives in it that make it look like that. So I'm not sure something natural in this causes that color, but it actually goes on the skin invisible and it's lightweight. It's not tacky. So really great skincare serum. I'm linking that below. Now, if you feel that serum is not right for you, or maybe you want something in a different price point, you know, I'm coming in hot here with a few other recommendations. I have experience with all of these other serums I'm about to show you. They are the budget derm approved, and I will link those below as well, starting with my top budget pick by the Inky List. It's the collagen peptide serum. This contains Matrixil 3000. Now, if you can only get one category of peptides, one of the four that I mentioned earlier, go with matrix cell 3000, which is what is in this. So you can always start simple and start here. It's linked below. And another budget option is by the brand Timeless. I love this brand of skincare products. It also contains matrix cell 3000 in it for just about $10 more. But overall, the ingredients in that product are a little bit more simple. So compare those two and choose what you feel is best for your skin. Those are my top two budget picks. Now for double the price of the Inky List product, you can get this one by The Ordinary. It is the multi-peptide plus copper serum. It has matrix cell 3000, copper, and one of those neurotransmitter blocking peptides that I mentioned, acetyl hexapeptide 8. This is definitely a popular and very reasonable choice. I'm linking it below. And then for double the price of The Ordinary, you can get this one by Peter Thomas Roth. I got this recently from Sephora. This is called Skinjection. This also has Matrixil 3000 in it. It has acetyl hexapeptide 8. I do not believe it has copper in it. I don't think. Um, it's quite pricey. I'll let you know that. I'm going to link this below. 
If you have tried this one out, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Again, this is newer to my personal skincare stockpile, but Peter Thomas Roth is such a great brand. So check this one out. So here is my easy peptide skincare routine that you can use. And this is how I personally use peptides in my own routine. In the morning, start with a simple gentle cleanser, choose something under $10. It's going to work fine. I promise you, you can skip the $30 cleanser and put that extra $20 towards a better treatment product if you are on a budget. Then you are gonna apply your peptide serum one to two pumps on your face, in your neck, and then follow it with a moisturizer and an SPF and you're out the door. Now, I personally love peptides in my morning routine because of their antioxidant properties, which is important if you're gonna be out in the UV light and around other environmental stressors that just gives you an extra boost of protection on top of your SPF. Okay, so then at night, I am still using my retinoid or my second anti-aging product of choice, whether it's vitamin C, bacuchiol, um, glycolic acid, whatever your choice is, use it here at night in your skincare routine. And that is how I do it in my routine. I try to use two powerhouse anti-aging actives separated by morning and night. So either a retinoid, peptide, vitamin C, bacuchiol, or glycolic acid, that's my starting five. I'm going to use some combination of those in my morning and nighttime routine. Now, before you ask me in the comments, but what about vitamin C? Can peptides and vitamin C be used together? It depends. Some vitamin C serums you can layer with peptide serums, although copper can be very unstable with vitamin C, but it depends on how it's formulated but it doesn't matter because I typically, again, do not layer these, just use them on alternating days. Okay, now let me show you the peptide moisturizer I've been using lately that obviously pairs well with Peptide Squad because it's also by May Love called Hydro Relief. This is looking a little bit rough. It's been traveling with me a lot lately. So this one contains soy and rice peptides, which if you remember are anti-aging because they help prevent the breakdown of collagen. And this is just a really nice lightweight moisturizer, very hydrating. It wears well for daytime under makeup. And it also contains other skin hero ingredients in it like niacinamide, squalane, shea butter, jojoba esters. So it's great. I'm going to link this one below too. You can buy this in a bundle with the peptide squad. You can buy it alone. I'm going to link your options below. My takeaway for you from this video is to try peptides in your anti-aging routine if you really wanna double down on your results. I gave you four categories of peptides that you can look for in products when you are out shopping to round out your own anti-aging routine. I showed you what I'm using right now, but if you find one that you love, that works for you, that's a great price, link it below. We can all learn from each other. Make sure you're subscribed to my skincare channel right here, The Budget Dermatologist. Come find me on Instagram at the Budget Dermatologist as well, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.